Sheldon here with Vendors Tech. I have a customer of mine, Dave Ziefla. Hi. Uh, Syracuse, New York. I had to fly out here to fix a problem that he had on a BevMax Media that I sold him about a year ago that we've been fighting for literally, I mean, the problem's been going on the whole year. We weren't aware of it for a long time, and he finally realized that there was a problem because of low sales on certain shelves, and it took us a long time, a lot of phone hours. We even had a crane tech from Crane Merchandising Systems out here to work on this problem. Couldn't figure it out. We've replaced the IO board, the Atlas board, the picker cup, the uh, E-chain harness on the vertical arm, um, the Y-motor board, Y-motor board harness, the Y-motor, and could not fix or solve this problem. So I finally had to fly out here today, and we figured it out, and it's really crazy, and it's, an, it's a <coughs> defect in the machine that we're gonna have to talk to Crane about, and I'm gonna give him a detailed report on what I found here, but I wanna show you what happened so that if you end up with a BevMax with a crazy problem like what was going on here, you know what to do. So we're gonna flip around and video inside the machine. I'm gonna show you what happened. All right, so what was going on is the picker cup was coming up to a target and instead of you know hitting it anywhere on here, it was hitting a few sixteenths of an inch below, maybe even a quarter of an inch below each target. Every now and then it would actually hit one or some as it would get further up. Sometimes it would actually catch the very bottom of it. And on the very top tray, it actually would catch the bottom most of the time and bend those up there. But the rest of the time it was way too low. That's a very, very odd problem for anyone who's familiar with BevMax. It's for a cup, especially on a new Mac BevMax where there's no tray differences, you know, position on US machines for them to, for it to miss low. Um, and so I figured it's got to be a mechanical anomaly somewhere, but I inspected everything I could think of. You know, the bracket was right where it should have been. Um, there wasn't anything out of place that I could find. Well, I started taking measurements because he bought two of these machines. <clears throat> and I went up and measured some of the other ones and discovered that the bottom tray here and these targets, measuring from the flat area of your ramp here, your, your, your protection ramp, is um, you know anywhere from a quarter of an inch to almost a half an inch uh, the, the, this bottom tray is that much further up from the bottom of this ramp than the other machine the tray is lower and I started measuring um, I took several measurements and this and all these trays are the same distance apart on the way up <clears throat> but it's it's about three sixteenths of an inch from the top of this bracket up here right there to the top of the ceiling difference. It's, it's higher on this one as opposed to the other one. Um, and so at some point they, they made a mistake when they were manufacturing this machine with their template or something and the bracket itself, the holes that they had to drill through the wall are in the wrong spot, I think, because I measured the distance between that top screw up there and the top of that bracket and it's only off by about a sixteenth of an inch, which wouldn't be far enough, you know, if, if they drilled the holes incorrectly in the bracket. So I think the holes are actually drilled in the wrong spots on this wall. And somehow they must have had to do it over there too on that bracket, which I don't know how that's possible, but they would have had to do it on both sides a little bit for it to still be decently level, which it is. And so the count on the cup is off because it's starting in the right position, but the trays are all higher than they should be. And so it's, it's counting up correctly. You know, it's not an electrical problem. It's not a counting problem. It's counting up to where they should be. And then it's striking, but the tray isn't there. So there were two options. We could have either pulled all the trays out of here and drilled new holes and put the brackets into different position. But that would have been difficult and we probably wouldn't have gotten them into the exact position that they should have been in um, trying to do that unless we were really careful with measurements and things. So what we did instead was we went to Lowe's and got some, uh, I think this is three quarter inch wide um, adhesive backed magnets. And I don't use magnets for any particular reason. It's just, I've used them before and I knew that they were the right thickness for what I wanted to do. But we put, we cut two of them and super glued them down onto this bracket here where the cup comes and sits. I mean, and they're, they're on there tight. They're not gonna come up hopefully ever. And I used two of them. And then I adjusted the uh, shelf offset, the cabinet offset or the shelf offset 
from 700, which is where it normally is on these, to, see the cup comes down, it sits right there. I, I made it to where the, the switch comes down and doesn't, well, it's not quite as centered on there as I thought it was, but it's right there on the magnet. So it's definitely, raised. it raises the starting position of the cup. And then the offset, <clears throat> let me get in here and make sure. I have to reset it. I believe it's 1350 is where I set it. <clears throat> we'll double check it here. Thirteen fifty is the cabinet, or is the shelf offset lighting is bad, which is a ridiculously high number and one I would never use any other time. But instead of continuing to build up this block or the, the shim, um, I wanted it to be secure and I didn't want to keep pounding stuff on top of it. So at that point, since we knew what the problem was, we could start adjusting that shelf offset to give us, you know, the upward distance that we need. Which if you adjust that number upwards. It raises where the cup strikes. And you have to remember that in those, every 3,310 counts on one of the encoder sensors and tack wheels is one inch of movement. And so moving it up from 700 to 1350 isn't very far at all, but it was enough to be able to get the plunger on the cup to be striking between each one or the two lines on this target all the way across on every tray. And the problem's fixed now, and I feel really bad for Dave. <laughs> Orange Kayak Vending, I don't know if I mentioned the name of his business, Orange Kayak Vending up here in Syracuse. Because he's been losing out on sales like crazy and I'm going to kind of complain to Crane about it because I feel bad for him and he shouldn't have had to deal with this problem. This is definitely a major defect and he's been real, real nice about it, but we've got it fixed for him and now hopefully he'll uh, not have any more issues. So if you run into this problem, that's what it is. <laughs> it's not, it's not an electrical issue, it's not a, a software issue, it's not a any, you know, any, anything else, um, it is, uh, it's definitely a mechanical anomaly, a defect in the machine itself. So hopefully they didn't ever let very many of these out the door because I can't believe they could have if they had tested this, which I know they do before they leave the factory. It's kind of an oddity, but anyway, and the one other thing I'm going to mention real fast that we did fix, the plunger on this cup, even though we put a brand new cup on here, it was coming out and kind of getting stuck in the out position and then slowly coming back in. Well, <clears throat> that one was really puzzling me for a minute well, when I first got here because I wasn't quite sure you know, what would cause that except a, a bad picker cup or maybe power voltage or something like that, the voltage from the transformer. Well, it just ended up being that the, uh, the Y motor board up here was very corroded all over the place on it. And bad Y motor board can cause a lot of problems. So I replaced that on the Y motor board harness and that totally fixed that problem.